Hey guys, this is the all new 2016 BMW Z4 S Drive 35i in black sapphire metallic with black Kansas interior leather. With up to 335 horsepower, the Z4 was designed to make every single drive an indigence. Its stunning hardtop and elongated hood combined with breathtaking power to create an almost addictive open top experience that's sure to leave you with your odometer as your only alibi. With powerful engine options, a low stance and a seating position just ahead of the rear axle let you take every corner and straight away so fast you'll be leaving everything in the rear view. Take a walk around the Z4 and you'll see thoughtful beauty in every inch of it. Classical proportions come through in an elongated hood that boldly defines its presence and steel roll bars exemplify the authentic roadster character that's in every detail. Its hard top can open or close in just 19 seconds, even at high speed up to 25 miles per hour, and seems perfectly with its long hood to create a unified, flowing exterior that screams muscle yet manages to stay lean. Here's the key fob of the car. On there, we have the unlock, lock, and the trunk release button. You can also press this button on the back to release a manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock it, start it up, and let you listen to exhaust note. The Z4 of course comes equipped with the smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the key in your pocket. Simply pull out on the handle to unlock. Here's a quick view of the interior. Interior again comes in black Kansas interior leather. Frameless doors. To start the engine, all you have to do is push your foot down the brake and press the start button located right here. Navigation screen immediately extend as you can see there. Under the hood, this specific S-Drive 35i model features a 3.0-liter BMW twin-power turbo inline 6-cylinder engine. It is a 7-speed double-clutch transmission with mounted power shifters behind the steering wheel. The engine pushes out 300 horsepower at around 1400 RPM. This is a mid-sized model with the S-Drive 28i at the bottom with 240 horsepower and the S-Drive 35is on top with 335 horsepower. This specific model here can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 5 seconds, whereas the other is 5.6 and 4.8 seconds consecutively. Its top speed is limited to 130 miles per hour. As for gas mileage, the Z4 gets 17 miles per gallon in the city, 24 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 20 miles per gallon. Gas mileage will also vary depending on which driving mode you're in with the ability to change your different driving modes from a characteristic from Eco Pro, Comfort, Sport, or to Sport Plus driving mode. Up front, there's the rain sensing power intermittent windshield wiper with adjustable speed, windshield washer release. Moving down to the front face, we have the aerodynamic bumper kit with the famous BMW double kidney grill and the BMW badge on top. To enhance visibility, the Z4 features Xenon adaptive headlights with dynamic auto leveling and LED daytime running lights. Front bumper also have integrated parking assist to notify the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. Here's a quick view of the side. Moving over to the side, there's the cornering light, Z4 side fender and BMW badge. Body color side view mirror with power control feature including power folding, 
heated control and auto dimming function. Here's a quick look at the underside. This specific model comes with the 18 inch alloy store spoke wheels with adaptive amp suspension. Behind the wheels we have the four wheel ventilated disc brakes with anti-lock braking system, dynamic brake control and cornering brake control. Now of course all four wheels are equipped with the tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, the first thing we have is the brake light mounted uniquely on the trunk top. And of course this model still have the antenna over there on the left side. Next we have the attractive and eye catching tail lamps with incorporated turn signal light, hazard light and brake light. Here's a complete view of the back, looks very aggressive with the dual exhaust tip. As for the gas tank, just make sure the core is unlocked. To open, simply push in. And it is recommended by BMW to use premium unleaded gasoline only. Now let's go ahead and check out what's inside the trunk. First thing you'll notice is we have this piece right here. You have to push this down and lock it all the way in place in order to uh, put the roof down. But if you push it up, as you can see, you have plenty of room for storage. Here we have the uh, core battery. And again, you have to push this all the way down in order to uh, fold down the roof. Simply pull this down to release yourself from inside the trunk if you ever happen to accidentally lock yourself inside the trunk. Okay, I would like to show you exactly what you have to do in order to fold down the roof. As you can see there, if you push it up like that, you will not be able to open the roof. So if you see these piece right here, you have to lock it into place like this on both sides. And doing so will allow you to fold down the roof. Let's check out what's on the uh, driver's side door. Again, frameless doors, very nicely designed. Here we have the door handle along with the carbon fiber trim finish, four power window control, and the button at the bottom is to open both window, side view mirror control on top, and this button is used to fold and unfold the side view mirror. Side door storage compartment, M Sport door seal, brick and gas pedal, here's your hood release lever, and trunk release button. Power front seat control, up to two memory setting for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. And we also have the uh, manual lumbar support control. Here's a complete detailed view of the driver's seat. Very sporty as you can see. Very smooth seat belt. And to the back, let me slide the seat forward so to show you the back here. Back here we have the speaker along with this hook on top here. 
another hook on top there. And we're back in the driver's seat. Here we have the AM Sport steering wheel. Looks and feels very comfortable. To the left, we have the audio volume control, voice command option, and the Bluetooth phone answering option. BMW logo in the middle with the horn. And over here, we have the different audio source mode control and channel control. Behind the steering wheel, we have the uh, manual gear shift paddle, one on the right and another on the left. Here's our windshield wiper control. You can simply press a button on the end to put it on automatic. Right and left turn signal, along with the high beep control. And the button on the end is your trip reset button. Here's your cruise control. And all the way to the back there, we have a lever. If you pull this down, this will allow you to control the steering wheel placement. And simply push it back up to lock the steering wheel in place. Driver air vent. Headlights control. Above her head, we have the driver's sun visor. with a small piece of mirror moving over to the middle we have the beautiful navigation system audio display and again when you turn off the engine it will automatically lower and immediately after you turn on the engine it will automatically raise let me go ahead and show it to you As you can see there, fold down very nicely and immediately extends after the engine is turned on. Immediately below that we have two additional air vents and in the middle we have your uh, hazard light control and the door lock and unlock button. Next we have your AC heat climate control and here's your engine start and stop button. Further down in the middle is where you insert your uh, CD in right here. Audio volume control. Simply press down to turn it on or off. Here's a different channel modes control. And these are touch sensitive as you see as I move my fingers through the button. Next, uh, both uh, front seat are heated control. And in the middle here we have the roof control. And I'll show you what that looked like uh, in a second. Here's our gear shift box to control this, put your foot on brake, move it on up to put the car into reverse. When you do so, the rear view will automatically tilt down, giving you a better view of the rear, which is a very nice safety feature. N for neutral, D for drive, and push it over to the left to put it into manual sports mode. And push up or down to change gears, or you can use the gear shift paddle behind the steering wheel. And to park simply press P on top now this one does not come with a rear view camera here's your traction control and right below that we have the different driving modes control simply press up and down to maneuver through the different driving modes here from comfort to sport or sport plus Here we have a uh, cigarette lighter, which can also be used as a 12 volt core charge outlet, and the ashtray right next to it. Here's a slot for you to insert the key fob. Here's the power parking brake. To activate, simply press up. And to deactivate, simply push your foot down the brake and press down on it. And here's the BMW eye control. You can twist it to zoom in and out on the map. It is multi-directional and press down on it to select. On top, we have the uh, different display selection from navigation to telephone, media, or radio. Here's a quick look up the navigation view, phone view, and radio view. back an option button and let's check out the middle armrest compartment in here we have uh, two cup holders 
also have the USB along with our zero input and a 12 volt core charger outlet here. And you also have a spot right here for you to uh, lock down your phone and uh, hold it in place. And on top we have a small slot here for you to store anything. Again, your phone will fit in there if you have a small one. Also have additional storage compartment back here. Glove box compartment. And here's a complete view of the dash. Moving on up, we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the built-in universal garage door opener. You can use those three buttons to open and close your garage doors after inputting the codes in there. Further up, we have your light control. And SOS is for roadside assistant connection. Here's a closer look to the top before I open it and show you what it looked like fully open. So in order to open it, you have to uh, press this button down and hold it down. And throughout the entire time that it opens, you will have to hold down the button or else it will stop. And as you can see, it doesn't take much time at all to completely fold down. And here it is with the roof fully fold down, looks very sporty. It will definitely be an eye catcher driving this down the beach. And the headrest looks very eye catching also. Here's a quick view from the front. And now to raise it back up. Now again, remember what I told you earlier, you have to have that piece folded down in the trunk in order to open this or else it will not allow you to fold down the roof. looks very neat and clean when folded down all right guys so that's all for today thanks everyone for watching and as always if you have any comments or requests for core review go ahead and leave me a comment below for more future core reviews if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to this channel and if you haven't check out my vlog channel or my son's youtube channel go ahead and check out the description box below i have all the links to my vlog channel down there along with my son's youtube channel i'll see you guys in the next video